Right, the only thing I know in this live stream is that there's a character called Who's Who. That's it, I know nothing else what's in this. Here we go. Ah, there's our boy. Vibin. <laughs> He's just like me for real, man. The finest hand-picked, well-tied spring. Ooh. The brown sugar bobo on the block. Bursting with L carnitine, flavor, and health. Goddamn, man. The drink of divine. The best drink in the galaxy. Ah, Topaz. News flash. The IPC oh, will soon be dispatching okay. representatives to multiple worlds. The effort is part of a raft of new measures to encourage trade and strengthen friendship throughout the cosmos. Too real, man. The Too genius real. The society's newest masterpiece, Simulated oh. Universe World 8, is about to go live. I'm fine Madame with that. Herta has revealed that the project is about to enter nice. the launch phase. For further details, don't forget to tune in to our program's follow-up reporting. Okay, Renowned so that means a new set as well, right? received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. Oh. Yeah, full-blown horror movie? Carlos is scared, man. Hello? Hello? I'm under the water. What is going on here, lads? Hello. My name is Hua. Oh, who's who? Recent days, the Sienjo Lofu has reported an uptick Hotel? in supernatural activity. With evil spirits wreaking havoc across multiple locations, the Ten Lords Commission has assured citizens that it is thoroughly investigating all incidents. Definitely who's this who, then. This program will be bringing you the latest as the story unfolds. For Ooh. more details, stay tuned for the this upcoming area looks, Haunted Sienjo special This program. area looks sick as well. Beautiful creature. Oh. Bless you for choosing to dally here. Allow me to ask you. What? As a fellow entity of the universe, are you... Acquainted with the goddess Citrine. Knights of Beauty. Okay, dude. Oh, Trello. The Express. Oh. Oh, damn. Another anomaly in this shining universe. Is this the type of character he is? It's a plan, my guy. Since you do not understand the beauty. I will have to show you in a way that only a knight can. I'm good, thanks. Ah, so he's one of those characters. Okay. Oh, that don't look good though. Uh, yeah, she suits it well, to be honest. She just, yeah, who's who is literally just like, like this game's who to pretty much. You're finally here. Oh wait, who's that? Oh. What type of character is she then? I'm guessing she's gonna be support. Oh. There we go, game's over, we died. Ooh. Who is that though? Our general's back though. Love to see Jin Yuan. We got the first code though. Yeah, but it looked in that trailer like she was supporting people. You know, she has the flags as well, so... Don't know if she's gonna be like a damage buffer or, you know, damage reducer. Who knows? Darkness falls across oh. the delve. As ghost fires dance, the clock strikes twelve. Ooh. Well... Whether or not your world has a midnight hour. There good we go. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the Inner Astral Peace. I really like the character designs, though. Yenjo, special program. Oh, who's the one on the uh, right? Ghostly host with the most. Albert. <laughs> Love to see Albert <laughs> again. Episode, we've invited two special guests. Together, we'll be introducing you to the Sienjo's weirdest and most wonderful. Whoa. Hi, everyone. 
I'm the galactic baseballer. <laughs> okay, Speaking dude. Speaking of weird and wonderful. <laughs> hey guys, Gray Knife in here. It's an honor to be a guest on the 1.5 special program. The amount of times I butchered her name uh, is amazing. I mean, Albert's haunted CN Joe special program. <laughs> wow. Albert, did you unlock a new skin? <laughs> Got missed Halloween though. A few <laughs> days late. An anchor of my standing needs to have the best wardrobe department in town. Now, as mm. our audience will be well aware, this Yenjo is constantly roaming the universe. Yeah, that chick on the right looks cool though. I wanna know her name. Unknown. It should come as no surprise then that the La Fu has had its fair share of strange encounters. I would assume and so. Speaking of strange. The trailer we just witnessed gave us a sneak peek into a place of mystery, Ooh. evil, and ghost fire. Oh. Fixtral Garden. Mm, I thought Fixtral Garden was just some old abandoned place on the Law Fu. So Why it's... is it suddenly getting so much attention? Allow me to explain. You know, live streamers, man. Back, the artisanship commission's creation furnace was shattered. The and place the is haunted. Oh. Inside were able to escape. Know where they went to hide? Mm -hmm. Yep. Fixtral Garden. I uh, see. So they died. Wait, what's a heliobi? People say that the heliobi are the result of accumulated grievances. They can possess mm. people, deceive the senses, affect the soul, and usurp the flesh. So we're in for a good time, pretty much. Exhibit bizarre behavior and restless thoughts. Ooh. It's a truly frightening spectacle. But the creation furnace wasn't exactly fragile. How could it just break? Rumor has it. It is what it is, man. Mission surveillance recorded a gray-haired figure in dark clothing. Huh. Gray hair, dark clothing. Ooh. Did they have a baseball bat? Hey, <laughs> don't pin this on me. The destruction of the creation furnace was a direct result of the Stellaron disaster. Yeah, yeah, right sure, man. Blame on that. Just tell us more about Fixtral Garden. <laughs> this place Fixtral does look cool, though. Has always been overflowing with yin energy, and the garden itself is littered with suppression towers, stone monoliths, and ancient trees. It reminds it's me of Leeway. In the day, when the sun goes down, things get a whole lot creepier. Ooh. The garden is layered and deceptive, and it's easy to lose your bearings. Since the Heliobi moved in, it's probably the most dangerous place on the La Fu. I mean, it looks cool Heliobi though, so you know, it balances it, it out. To possession, and even the most experienced Wraith Wardens and Omnitron Spectral Envoys can become their victims. Well, you know, people are going to be making fun out of that. 100%. Go south fast. If all that Sick character enough, designs, though. They say that Mara stricken members of the Ten Lords Commission Sheesh. also wander the garden. A word of advice? Keep your wits about you. <laughs> Sounds like great streaming material to me. I bet I could become Oh, a another continuance mi uh, trailblaze time. mission. <laughs> Funny I'm you fine with that. Mention, to most people. Fixtral Garden was always a strange and desolate place that rarely got much attention. But now that stories are beginning to circulate, the situation has changed. So when are we going Recently, to Penacony then? The Cienjo's online forums have been filling up with posts. I'm guessing after this. Supernatural phenomena in Fixtral Garden. Ooh. Everything from self-playing violins to the wailing cries of vengeful <laughs> ghosts. Unsurprisingly, Cienjo fans of the supernatural are loving every second. Uh, in my experience, people like haunted exactly things, I guess. Reliable news sources. Ugh, who cares if some of it's false? This is a hype train I can't afford to miss. All about that content grind, what you know. I respect it quite enough. Ghost hunting squad with me. <sighs> Fire breathing, quiet band performances, headstands, balancing acts, spear deflection, sword juggling, and boulder smashing weren't enough, huh? Now you're an expert in ghost hunting? Uh, hey, man. Who said I was an expert? <laughs> Fill out the resume. Transferable skills. That's all. <laughs> well, you better hope so. Speaking of which, 
In the brand new version 1.5, Trailblaze Continuance, a Foxian tale of the hunted. The ghost hunting squad will be responsible. Yeah, we must be getting Panacone after this, right? Purging evil, resolving crises. Actually, the no, we won't. A Foxian tale of the hunted is divided into five chapters and starts off with the ghost hunting squad facing an unusual danger and Wait. Sojourner's ghastly reverie. Wait, five so chapters? chapters complete, the story continues to unfold with twins, Damn, all right. sword essence, and Foxian dream. Five chapters, huh? Yeah, that was we'll pretty long. Sienjo internet searches in no time. See? I knew you were on the same wavelength. In addition to Trailblazers continuing, how long are they going to be then? Like an hour, night, hour each. Trailblazers will also be facing fixtural garden dangers in both Lafu urban legends and ghost hunting squad missions. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm fine with that. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. During the ghost hunting squad's fictional exploration, squad. trailblazers can jointly manage Gwen Knife and Socials. Posting threads is a great way to create discussion among Zienjo netizens. <laughs> right, a cool little fun feature. Oh, I can't wait. We're going to get the whole Zienjo talking. Seriously, this is once in a lifetime material. We got to plug it for everything I it's mean, got. you know, I'm this seems fun. I'm I'm fine with this. All that good stuff. Once you get enough momentum, the fan base grows itself. <laughs> nice. Social media stardom is finally on the horizon. <laughs> oh, you know, Miss Gwen Iphen. Hey, another self modeling resin. You'll love to see it. And I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I've been introduced to a lot of big names in the company. The Albert stamp of approval goes a long way. Aw, thanks, Albert. They're giving a lot of self model and resin out now. For now though. Which is good. Good to know there's an offer on the table. Well, it's cool. I get it. <laughs> but uh, here's my card if you ever want a collab. Just give me a shout. Deal. Yeah, now, making connections. Well done, mate. Socials. Increasing your account's popularity level allows you to unlock more stories and events. Your ghost ah. hunting skills will only improve as you unlock more suppression towers and take on new challenges. So another permanent mention, event. By completing limited time missions, trailblazers can obtain the event light cone. Hey, over here. What do you think, Guilings? Let's give it up for Guilings' generosity. Cool card, though. <sighs> Still, I hope the ghost hunting squad is up to the job. Sounds like we'll have a lot on our plate. Don't worry. We're getting more Su Shang as well, which I'm for. She, she was pretty enjoyable importance. last event. The Ten Lords Commission. They're the judges of the Mara Struck, the arbiters of life and death. When it comes to warding off evil and expelling the supernatural, mm. nobody does it like the Ten Lords. But despite the reputation, they're shrouded in a certain amount of mystery. Whoa. Whoa, who? The Ten Lords are getting involved? Just when I thought our stream couldn't get any crazier. Well, so if is who's who part of that? I'd spend some time getting to know your assignee. The ten lords have dispatched a trainee judge to Never assist mind. the ghost hunting squad in investigating the fixture garden situation. Trainee, huh? I'm guessing that's uh, who's who then. The trainee. Confident in their abilities. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, oh, scared of cat dealing with ghosts. What a great combination. So yeah, it seems like she is a buffer due to all the uh, the sigils that we're seeing. What was a wind type character following the path Oh, of abundance. Prince, okay. Any judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Huh? Wait, is her tail on fire? Those are the spookiest looking flames I've ever seen. So is she possessed yeah. then? Does being on fire help with ghost hunting? What are you two whispering about? Uh, nothing. Just beginning to doubt her credentials. How did this little girl become a judge in the first place? Good question. Spirits well, in it, man. Is essentially a magnet for evil. Something that comes in super handy for the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> they couldn't Fez. believe their luck. Sounds qualified. Of course. <laughs> Talent comes in all shapes and sizes. The key is to bring the best out of everyone. I love the little well, like paper figures her, just running well, about. Her unique skill set isn't exactly a blessing. People say she has the worst luck on the CN show. Always running Love into to see clothes, it. tripping over thin air, you know the deal. Well, if I spent my life running into ghosts, I'd probably fall over a lot too. 
I remember one of my Gwaylings had this Just, just getting bullied by ghosts. Lucky for her, one of my sponsors sells this amazing remedy that can... And of course they do. Anyway, essential <laughs> essential oils. Bad luck, evil yeah, just rub this thing on you. We'll get rid of all the ghosts. It all started from a single unfortunate event. Oh? When Wawa was a little younger... Her tail was possessed by a monstrous long life species. I'm guessing that's the guesses? like the yep. paper that's on her it tail to like suppress it. That very same day, the Ten Lords Commission decided to seal the monster in its hiding place mm -hmm. and took Huahua under their wing. Ah, I get it. So Huahua is kind of like a oh, that's how you pronounce the name. <laughs> guinea pig. <laughs> I think Herda had a similar fate plan. Whoops. That may have been part of it. However, the Ten Lords realized that Hua Hua had the ability to pacify the monster. What? what? Naturally, <laughs> anyone able to wield the power of a Heliobus was seen as a potential weapon of war. I thought it was who's who. A baby! How could a scared little foxy and girl ever take on the responsibilities of the Ten Lords? Oh, Hua Hua's well aware she's a scared of cat. Hey man, just so fake it until you make it. To train her courage. <laughs> I guess you could call that... Fighting fear with fear. <laughs> You're all weak, y'all. If that actually worked, I'd have joined the Stellaron Hunters already. Practicality is. I mean, you was what part of the Stellaron Hunters before, so. Is a true sign of professionalism. Not to mention, having spent more than a few years in the company of a Heliobus, she's had to develop her own tricks for banishing evil. What, she just smacks him with a flag? Banner Stormcaller can deal wind damage to a single target. Uh, kind of looks like her tail is <laughs> yeah, that. making the decisions. <clears throat> when using her skill, Talisman Protection, Hua Hua bravely brandishes what, her what? back, restoring HP to a single ally and adjacent teammates. Are you sure she's not Damn. trying to surrender? All right. <laughs> AoE of, AO, AoE of heals? spiritual domination can regenerate allies' energy and increase their attack. Well, so that's looks what just terrifying. Looks like. Oh, she no actually ju does just get gets possessed. Commission to seal it away. When under the influence of her tail, Hua Hua has a few special talents. After using her skill, what, what? she receives Sacrifice Life. Sacrifice Life can grant allies a set amount of HP restoration at the uh, beginning of their respective turns. Does she also lose his? Use their ultimate. Nice. Okay. Not bad for I thought she also lost huh? health there. This ghost hunting squad's gonna kick butt. Mm, so she's a really good healer then. What was technique? Fiend impeachment of evil. Sends Ooh. her enemies into a horror struck state and scatters them in all directions. When attacking a horror struck enemy, there's a chance of reducing their attack. Oh, oh okay. Your That's actually pretty good in maybe like memory of chaos. Still not getting judge vibes though. Hey, easy on the training. <laughs> Of course, when you're dealing with Helioba, the more judges, the better. I can't That's get up with a little paper Lord doll that just runs in the background. To bring up the rear. I'm talking about none other than Hanya. Oh, is this the girl we saw on the side? Damn, she's got some dead eyes. <laughs> gonna be the dark mummy <laughs> so is she part of the ten lords then hanya is a netherworld judge of the ten lords commission yeah she's a physical type character following the path of harmony ah, i remember that face uh i saw her on the return to darkness light cone mm, correct the mundo <laughs> rumor has don't think i've seen that light cone I actually probably have dedicated to the work of the Ten Lords. Is a call as well. responsible for predicting karmic offenses and recording corresponding judgments. Mm. Or to be more precise, Hanya reads the karmic sins of criminals and uses her oracle brush to record their punishments. She's All right. She's her job and takes it super seriously. In the Ten Lords Commission... Uh, oh, she's a four star. It. Okay. Sounds Never mind, like I'm gonna... Should be able to get her. She's put in the hours, that's for sure. In order to determine their sins, Hanya reads the memories of the Mara struck in the form of dreams. Cool. Right, that means it's going to be a lot easier to get her then. Just found its guiding light. No offense, Hua Hua, but those sound like credentials. Hey, enough with the Hua Hua bully. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> but speaking of credentials, it's time to see what Hanya can do on the battlefield. All right, let's see During it. During her basic attack, 
Hanya uses her Oracle Brush to assault the enemy, dealing physical damage to a single target. She really just lives paints by on the, the enemy. Is mightier than the sword, huh? <laughs> I mean, fair plays if it works. I'll get my coat. In addition to dealing physical damage to a single target, Hanya's skills Samsara Lot can does affect that... them with a burden state. Ooh, Ooh what does that is do? Is that Hanya's way of marking enemies prior to sentencing? Pretty much. Okay, so Allies what does it do? Increased damage on enemies marked with burden. Oh, okay, damage increase. Enough, after an ally launches a set amount of attacks on an enemy marked with burden, they recover a skill point. When the going Ooh. gets tough, Hanya's got your buff. Alright. That's a nice that's decrease. a nice little addition though, to get a skill point back. Speed and attack for a single ally. When Hanya mm. uses her technique, speed increase as well. She immediately launches an attack and inflicts burden on a random enemy. When the enemy won't budge, call in the judge. All right, you know what? That that's aside, a that's a nice fall star. One point five, the new stagnant shadow, shape of perdition, will Probably appear can put it on some teams. Map on the Cienjo Lafu. Complete the challenge to obtain new physical ascension materials. Within they have the imaginary map, weakness as well. Thank God. Welcoming Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Darkness. Complete the challenge to obtain hey. two brand new cavern relics. Those sets look nice, though. And Grand Duke incinerated to ashes. Path of Darkness. <laughs> okay. Well, that just about brings us to the final sections of our Haunted Cien Joe special program. Huh? Ooh. Already? Damn. Mm, this program isn't nearly haunted enough for my liking. Shall one. Where are all the ghost stories? You know, beautiful foxy and spirits knocking on your door at midnight. Yeah, dude. That kind of thing. I think you're thinking of a different program. Moving yeah, so man. Is that your fantasy? <laughs> okay. Thanks again for watching, y'all, and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the following commercials. We know what Collis is. Uh, we know what Collis likes. You there. One must explore the essence oh. of beauty to appreciate the depth of chivalry. The beauty of night. Yes, it is I, your beloved avian servant. Welcome to Inner Astral Peace Media's second special program, Legend of Cosmic Beauty. <sighs> In today's program, we will be introducing a new friend of the universe. Yo, how's my favorite audience doing? <laughs> oh, there we go, he's See back. You. We've hardly been gone, and Albert here's already had another wardrobe change. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't get the memo. He looks pretty We're good in the monocle. Discussing a night of impeccable elegance. I rate it. Uh, it's time to get fancy. So, without further ado, allow Ooh. me to introduce a member of the Knights of Beauty. Ha, Jitty! Very over the top. So he just like comes and comes aboard our train, just does whatever he wants. Fair enough. Okay, that looked pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Argenti is a physical type character following the path of erudition. As Ooh. a devoted admirer of a drill of the beauty. Argentine Erudition, life, eh? Roaming the universe and extolling their name. Ah, so the simulated universe occurrences, Curio, Robe of the Beauty, and Knights of Beauty to the rescue. Is gonna be fit in him. related to the knights, right? Running into the Knights of Beauty while testing the simulated universe is always a blessing. Sick character Those design as well, though. Tight spot, especially when I can't get enough path resonance. <laughs> Treating people with courtesy, helping others as a matter of principle, and offering sincere praise to all things in the universe. This personality might be Such a bit annoying at first. It might grow on me. Who knows? In the simulated universe, not every helping hand is benevolent, but those provided hmm. by the knights are beyond question. May the names of Argenti and the beauty be blessed for all eternity. Uh, speaking of which, Owlbird, so does he have to, something to do with Panacone then? And Garden of Plenty commercial all about? Well, Argenti magnanimously answered our call and agreed to appear in our commercial as a corporate ambassador. Wow. <laughs> and I know they forgot our end of the bargain. <clears throat> the IPM acknowledges that a drill of the beauty is the most peerless beauty of them all. <sighs> Albert, what did you get yourself into now? What a beauty, well, my Just god. Two way back scratching. Um, okay. Kind of TMI. 
Yeah, but let's see his I abilities, really though. I don't understand the concept of the beauty. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Idrilla's beauty permeates everything. Take Argenti, for example. From his daily okay. armor cleaning routine to his of course. Race, all of it stems from his pursuit of the beauty. I'm gonna make sure Elegance my armor is shining. Middle name and even manifests itself in his combat. My Our magic Genji's flowing attack, hair. Fleeting fragrance can deal physical damage to a single target. His skin okay. just is hereby blue. Yeah, the light. Physical damage to all enemies. Nice. Nice, Man, big AOE. I wish I looked that elegant in combat. Argenti's ultimate is pretty unique, triggering different effects depending on the amount of energy okay. consumed. Such is the manifold beauty of Adrilla. When consuming a small amount of energy, Argenti's ultimate Oh, that's his ultimate burst? Garden Supreme Beauty Ayo, bestows damn, okay. to all enemies. When consuming all energy, that looks pretty Argenti's sick. ultimate becomes merit bestowed in my garden, which deals greater damage. That's so also cool, man. Also additional damage on a random target. All right, 10 out of 10 oh, for style. You can choose how much energy to release? Mm, that's not all. Argenti's That's actually talent. pretty nice as well. Sublime object can allow Argenti to regenerate additional energy and obtain a stack of self-cultivation. Self-cultivation can increase Argenti's crit rate. Oh, so energy so recharge is going to be good on him. Self-cultivation, the fiercer his attacks. Or uh, to, to put it another way, Argenti needs to attack as many enemies as possible. Mm -hmm. The greater the number of enemies, the faster his energy regeneration, and the stronger his combat. Gotta exactly. get that energy rope on then. Stronger combat, faster energy regeneration more enemies to attack Argenti's so speed as well vibes. i'm here for it argenti's technique manifesto of purest virtue all right what does this do eh? within a set range dazed enemies aren't able to launch attacks attacking a dazed enemy to okay. combat not only deals damage to all enemies but also regenerates argenti's energy Woo. all right you argenti know what that's pretty nice especially handsome. if you're in like would you, feeling memory of chaos myself <laughs> All right, Collius, mate, calm down, mate. <laughs> Damn, Collius has been quite horny That's in this one. And companion mission. For a fatal surprise in version 1.5. In Night of Universal Hallucinations, Ooh. Trailblazers will encounter Argenti en route to a washtopia. Uh, wait a second. A long a awaited day of extensive now? cleaning. Every day. Slow down there, Trailblazer. Have you never asked Washtopia? how the Astral Express stays so clean and shiny? Uh, because Pom Pom cleans? Always cleaning up after us? <sighs> yeah. It's because the train stops at Washtopia's along its journey. Whoa. Washtopia's specialize in cleaning interstellar crap. You know, all <laughs> kinds of fast acting. Right, okay. Antibacteria. We're getting off topic. So it's All a train wash, pretty much, then. The encounter with Buzzing. Argenti is one of excitement and wonder. Whoa. <laughs> and a little bird tells me he's set for a showdown with the entire crew. Oh, we get to fight him? Why are we always either in a fight or on I'm the I'm fine with that. A fight, you say? A scrap with Night of Beauty. Far too poor term. What you meant to say was a chivalrous display of gentlemanly fortitude. Sure. <laughs> anyway. Argenti only challenges those who he deeply respects. Ah, ah, you mean that the illustrious galactic baseballer's reputation doth precede one? Oh, oh quite splendid, sure. Collius. Anyway, with the Drilla's blessing, let's move straight on to the version 1.5 warp events. Oh, finally! Right. First so, off, during the first phase of version 1.5, I, I can't, I can't event, not say who's who. In gloom. Trailblazers can obtain the limited five-star character Hua Hua. Hua Hua. <laughs> my favorite scaredy cat trainee judge. During the second phase of version 1.5, we'll be welcoming two character event warps in Thorns of Scented Crown. Trailblazers okay. can obtain the limited five-star character Argenti. Ah, I'm probably going to roll for him because I don't need another healer. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Contract Zero. The ah, Silver Wolf is coming Wolf back. We'll be joining the warp. Not to mention the four-star character Hanya. Pretty early though. Appearing in both the aforementioned second phase character event warps. Ah, long time nope. no see, Silverwolf. <laughs> uh, I wonder if her game accounts are doing any better. You want to ask yeah. her the next time you see her? You first. <laughs> Rest in peace, genuine. Now, 
It's time to take a look at version 1.5's light cones. In the first right. phase of version 1.5, the drop rate Cute. of the 5-star light cone, night of fright. Brilliant fixation. While in the second phase of version 1.5, the 5-star <laughs> light cone, man. an instance before you. Yeah, the hangs, the the hangs coming out to one. grab his face. At the same time, <laughs> sure. the drop rate for the 5-star light cone, incessant rain, will be boosted. All aboard! All right. <laughs> Once again, the not rolling for light cones. About to make the jump. And here's some other cool stuff. Ooh. Starting from 1.5 within the team selection and character ascension screens. All right. Every character will have brand new voice this lines. This is a different kind of arena. Oh, all right. Again. Is that good or bad? Again. Uh, is that whole horse ascension line? Uh, so this is just a nice feature to have. <laughs> uh, wait, if a character's already fully ascended, can we still hear their line? 100%. All audio lines get saved in the index. Yeah. Listen back at any time. Here's All something right. else. In uh, to be honest, I thought that was already in the game. I just totally missed it, I guess. Feature update. If trailblazers are ever curious to check which friends have visited the Express, the guest book has a record and message from each visit. <laughs> All right. Such a neat idea. Additionally, Again, it's nice. Forgotten the Hall will also be receiving updates in 1.5. Ooh. First up, in Forgotten What's Hall in it? Combat, Trailblazers can now choose to re-challenge. Re-challenge? It's like this. Okay. If things aren't going too smooth. Thank you. Oh, my stage, God. Thank you. Trailblazers can choose to return to the Forgotten Hall map and restart the challenge. When rechallenging, previously used technique points are replaced. It, yeah, man, it was so annoying going back to the main menu and having to redo your team again. I'm so glad they did that. Stopping and restarting a challenge in the second half of a stage doesn't mean you have to redo the first half. Thank that you. Is a relief. And when entering the Forgotten Hall, your combat lineup for each stage is now remembered. Thank of whether you met with victory this should have been in the game since the start <laughs> will be waiting for you on the preparation screen no need for manual selection now that's my kind of update can't wait for trailblazers Man, i'm not buzzed about that speed. to be honest the forgotten hall is an important system within the game updates will continue to be rolled out so stay tuned for future versions very well, nice looks like it's time for that one, that one was a big one that was my biggest like ick the side, with the memory of chaos all right, last redemption code. Yep. <laughs> hey, folks, I'm oh, back. Oh, Gwynefin's back. <laughs> Me too. Me three. <laughs> Good to see you again, Trailblazers. You're just in time to help us wrap up version 1.5 special program. Oh, oh. Is it that time already? I was just getting started. Be my guest, Trailblazers. This is quite a short one, one. It was only like, <clears throat> what, 30 Aren't minutes? Are you forgetting something, Albert? I'm pretty sure you didn't mention the thing. Thing? Oh, the, the thing. thing. <gasps> Oh. That thing, winky winky, gift of Odyssey. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Forget. In version one point five, trailblazers can get their hands. I love on we get one of these every the update, event. man. It's so it's so yeah. nice, man. Gotta love a check it event. <laughs> and that's not the only thing to love in version one point five. Ooh. Anything in today's IPM programs tickle your fancy, guys? You had me at ghost hunting squad. <laughs> I am so ready for a spooky stream. <laughs> I'm fun to see the Xianzhou characters again. As for me, it was all about those unique characters. Huo Huo's tale backstory, Huo Huo. Anya's ten lords expertise, and Argenti's mysterious search for the beauty. I'm probably just going to call her who's who, man. <laughs> it's much easier to remember. Put it better myself. <laughs> and with that, Trailblazers, I bid you a peaceful onward journey. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you for supporting the IBM. All right, that was a nice, that was a nice uh, version. Trailblaze you later. All right. Very nice indeed. Yeah, probably gonna skip who's who and then roll for Knights of Beauty.